this is exciting because this is something I don't need. Just like everything. One, two. These are new side view mirrors. I have a 2016 991 and we don't have the lane change assist. And I really hate the blind spot in my car. Now I know you can technically fix that by setting up your mirrors differently, correctly, but I'm not interested in that. So I bought these aspherical side view mirrors to replace my flat ones. Oh, it's me. Hey, me. So these have this line here. And this portion of the mirror is curved out to give you a wider field of view. Pretty sure this is the this is the passenger mirror. That is the part info here. This is the part number for the other side. And then this one should be the driver mirror. These are fairly expensive because I have the heated and auto dimming mirrors. Got our driver mirror and our passenger mirror here. So let's go do a quick drive uh, with the stock mirrors and then we'll pull those out and we'll put these in. Look at those mountains. There's a whole big wide world of stuff I can't see. They pass me, my field of vision's about here. There's, there's a gap. To pull the mirrors out, we're gonna pull them all the way in so that outer edge sticks out and that's where we're gonna grab and lift the mirrors out. Same thing on this side. Mirror needs to be all the way in this way so we can grab that outer, outer edge and pull the mirror out. So same thing as last time. We're gonna put our fingers behind here. We're going to pry the mirrors out with nice even direct force. Just like that. Super quick and easy to pull these mirrors out. It says it's made in the USA. Huh, ah, sweet. This is the new one. Maybe they are DOT approved. I thought you couldn't use these in the US. Maybe you can. This is what you see in the typical stock mirror. We've got the truck in field, cameras off to the left there. And now we'll hold up the other mirror. There you go. And that aspherical area there kind of warps what you see on the far right and it gives you a little more field of vision a few more feet which is really all you need to clear up that blind spot yeah we'll, we'll say it's in I don't know Ideally what we want to see is we want to see the car in our side view mirror and then we want to see the front of the car in our field of sight uh, briefly both those at the same time. Okay, all right, so I spent a few minutes figuring out kind of how these work and I think I got it and, and they do work really well. So from my vantage point, when I see that guy in the mirror, I can see him now in my peripheral vision. The camera can't see him. Uh, I think I got the right one set pretty well. I got to set the driver mirror here. I'm a little sad that a big chunk of that aspherical area is taken up by the reflection of the mirror housing. What can you do? Same thing over there. These things work so well. I am so impressed. It's, it's, it's really cool. It really eliminates the blind spot. You can see the guys in your rear view. See them coming up in the rear view. And then you see them in the, the side mirror here coming by. And while they're still in the side mirror, you can see them your actual peripheral vision. Okay, that guy went too fast. But, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say these mirrors are the bomb. They totally work. Very impressed with them. I'm gonna admit there's a lot of good videos, better videos than mine, demonstrating how well the aspherical mirrors work. These mirrors are awesome.
And for guys who don't have that lane change assist like the 991.2s, I think it's a great option to get rid of that blind spot that plagues drivers like me. Actually really happy with these. I think they are a very cool upgrade. I would recommend them, definitely. They're sweet. And it's a super easy upgrade to do. It'll take you 10 minutes. That's gonna do it for this time. We'll catch you next time.